the wind in the Mong Airport, it's about midnight. I've got the bike on. I'm just going to jump in a taxi. It's about midnight, I want to get back in town, get a hotel, get some sleep on. So you can unpack your bike, you can drive from the airport, you can get a bus from the airport, you can get a train from the airport, you can get a taxi from the airport. Do whatever you want. Very simple, very straightforward, easy, easy, easy. Always make sure you organise your fee before you get on the taxi though. Otherwise you might get, get rid of tourist charges there. Otherwise, organise beforehand, easy. US hotel, check it out. So this is your basic bathroom. Just basic five star accommodation here in Thailand. <laughs> the bike box, got a bed there. First thing I do is I open up the windows, I push the glass out, put the screens on. I turn, I don't run the air con because I just find it's too mouldy. I turn the TV off. And that's about it. That's, this is a basic hotel room. You get pretty good value, 500 baht or about 15 US dollars. Fucking cheap living in a big city. This is, this is about as cheap as it gets in Bangkok. So I thought I'd show you that. Maybe next time we can uh, blow some coin and get a nicer hotel. But well, this is great. That's what we need. All we need is a clean bed, close to some fruit, close to some water, close to some vegan cafes. You're good to go. Walking on the streets, it's about 1.30 a.m. So I get some juice and get some sugar. Fuck it, be ravenous. Just saw some massive rats. They're like they're over, oh, from tail to nose, they're at least a foot and a half long. Massive rats. You got a lot of options of juices here in Thailand. All the supermarkets and the 7-Elevens do sell some quality juice with no flavors or preservatives. Quite a good option if your fruit ain't ripe. Oh, you're just struggling to get some fruit, you need something now. I need some, you know, the kids are screaming, they need something to eat. Mummy, Daddy, I want some food, I want some food. Just give them the juice. Bananas are very good in Thailand. They're not often ripe, so you've got to buy them and let them ripen up. Do you know it cost me $8? It's about, this is about the average income for a Thai person for one day. We've got really amazing pineapple. This is really good juice here. It's just mango. Organic bananas. Small ones here. A bit of durian, if I'll try a bit of that. See how it's going. So that's an $8 little value dinner for Durham Rider. Place for rent. It's about 1500 US. Pretty bullying place. Two bedroom. It's one of the close to McDonald's. <laughs> they put close to McDonald's as a, uh, a bonus. I'm not sure it's a bonus, people, but that shows me Thailand still hasn't woken up yet. McDonald's makes you fat. Fat like an Aussie. Up early, 6.30. Just got the bike finished. Gotta get this box, just drop it in the street, someone will pick it up recycling, and we cycle a lot here in Thailand. Best thing to do when you're changing time zones is just get up early. Just set your alarm clock for your normal time, just start getting that routine. Bring your routine from home, bring it here. Worst thing to do is say, oh, I don't know what to do. Get up and do stuff. If you want to change your life for the better, get up around sunrise every morning. Your life will transform incredibly so. One thing I like about not having a bike box to worry about is this cardboard just leaving the side of the road. And one of the recycling guys is going to pick it up and have a great time with it. You've got a heavy, heavy bike box, it's like 700 bucks, you've got to lug it around and fuck around with it. But the cardboard bike box, that's where your bike actually got shipped to you, to the bike store in. It's the best way to travel with a bike box. I don't use bike bags, I don't use ex expensive bike boxes. Just use cardboard, recycle it, and then when you've got to go, get another one from the local bike shop. Easy. There's a saying in Thailand, it's called T.I. Thai. This is Thailand. Look at this electrical wire. It's sitting like that. <laughs> it's about 200 vegan restaurants in Bangkok itself. Go to happycow.net. This is a high carb vegan meal here. We've got a bit of got a lot of di di dishes on here. They grow their own rice in Chiang Mai. Here's a picture in Thailand. You can do anything you want here in terms of cosmetics. Lady boy, coming at you. So here's another hotel we're staying at, show you what you can get upmarket. I actually prefer the cheaper hotels, I find the staff a bit more genuine. This place is about 50 bucks US, this is what I travel with. Um, here we go, We've got, I've got three laptops there, I'm going to give two away. To a your vegan store, to donate there, a little bit of drop lifting. Helmet sunnies, iPods, my main camera, it's a pen camera I've got. For some action with the lady boys, two lights for cycling, shaver, electronic shaver. Cash in Thai bar, my Garmin 800 with Garmin uh, Thai maps, tape there, bit of bondage, uh, hat, running hat, wallet with cash and cards, cycling tips, uh, 
tool bag, Hello Kitty eye mask, long sleeve shirt got from the thrift store, three dollars. A short sleeve shirt got from my mate's bin, thanks Matt. Some shorts I bought in Thailand, three bucks. Uh, what else we got? Five and five fingers to walk around in. I have a selection of shoes here. A pineapple backpack. It's another little string backpack with fruit. I don't use plastic bags. Cycling shoes. Two pairs of shoes. One from Wendy. One from Mike Arnstein. Going to give them away. Got my running shoes there. Another little string bag. Main bag, which everything goes into. That says go vegan in Thai. A pair of socks. Got a drink bottle there, which I found on the side of the road in Australia. Got a new t-shirt. I bought a new t-shirt. Fashion. Some go vegan cycling kit. Uh, socks we mentioned, bag of stuff, I've got, I've got a Samsung phone I never used, uh, what else got in here, mini old mini discipline, basically just some electrical stuff, I'm going to give away to the vegan store and they can just palm it off and sell it off, donate to the cause, that's what I travel with in Thailand, pretty lightweight, it's all under a couple of, oh, probably four kilos once you I give everything away, what's in Durant is fridge, have a look, water, <laughs> I'll put some fruit in there later on. Let's go check out what you get for uh, around $40 US. This is an old school hotel. Got a bit of charm to it, but uh, the doorman's really friendly. The doorman's quite friendly. Nice little pool there. Not a felt. Watch your step. Damn, in the water. Look how awkward I look in the water. <laughs> so basically, that's what you get in Thailand. Post your comments and questions down below. What would you like me to see? What would you like me to do? What would you like me to put up on YouTube? Let us know in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Cab the fuck up. See you at the Thai Fruit Festival.